Okay, I know some folks have been having trouble with uh, coloring ethnic colored skin and getting it to look right. It either looks too flat or it kind of looks painted on. Um, so I want to show you what I do. I'm going to, I usually keep these swatches open. And I've just picked some of my favorites and put them all in a picture together so I don't have to keep opening different ones. These are just my favorite ones. Uh, normally, this shade right here, I normally use this one as my base coat no matter what the person's ethnicity is. This is my very first color that I lay down. Um, now, if I was doing an Asian person, I might go more more up here or here toward the yellow. Um, and if I was doing someone olive, I may go more toward the brown here or here. But as a rule, this is my first color right here. Um, and I'm just going to choose that color. And then go back over here to my uh, demo picture. And what I did is I just took four different skin tones. I was a Caucasian, a light skin, medium, and a, what looks dark skin to me in the black and white. Uh, on a new layer, and I always color on soft light. I'm just going to color in the skin on all four of these folks. trying to get it all but I'm also kind of being a little sloppy um, sorry. get these all colored in a little baby You know what? Let me uh, undo that last one here. I'm actually going to do him on a separate layer. And it's because he is dark skinned. I want to be able to adjust this because this is a little too peachy for him. Um, but I do feel like having a peachy base color gives skin life. Uh, doesn't matter what color or skin tone it is. I think it gives it some life. Everybody's got red blood going through their veins. So I want that peachiness as my base. But I do think it's a little too pale and peachy for him. Okay. I'm actually going to start with him so I don't get lost. Scroll down here. Now that's actually not a bad color for him, but I think from the color of the original, I think he's. Oh, I hit my history. I think he is actually a little darker skinned than that. So I'm going to, this is the color that I'm currently on, and I'm just going to go down and to the right, and I'm going to go pretty far down into the dark, but not all the way down into the black. And then on a new layer, such as soft light, I'm going to paint this over that peachy color that I put on. And because it's soft light, the color underneath glows through the uh, color underneath glows through it gives it some life, I believe. He almost looks bronze, and that's, I think, the combination of these two colors and the original shading that was on the photo. 
between those three things, that's what's making him kind of look bronzy, which might be pretty, but I don't think it's a good color for him. I think it would be a really pretty color for a woman. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take his peach color and I'm going to turn that down. That's, I've got that about 57%, 53, that you can play with that. I want it high enough um, that I still can see some of that glow, but I don't want him to really be bronze colored. Um, and then I can go on top of that, and I'm going to go here to my swatches because I have this cool brown here. On top of that, I'm just going to add some coolness to his face. Kind of where the darker areas would be. This is sort of a shading, side of the nose, under the nose, under the bottom lip, on the neck, around the edges. So you think um, the head is a round object, so things that are further away should be darker, things that are closer to you should be lighter. And I'm just going to go all over his entire neck. That may not be accurate, but I can always go back and adjust that. Um, and now I'm going to turn that shading way down. And that just kind of gives um, some dimension to him so he's not so flat. And here I've got it a little sharp. So I'm going to get an eraser. Oops, turn down the opacity of the eraser. And just kind of feather that a little bit. That just kind of makes his face look a little more round. I'm going to turn that off and back on. It also deepens his skin tone a little bit. Okay, let's go to a new layer. And here's that original peachy color that we had. And let's go to the baby. Now for the baby, I'm going to stick more over here directly in line um, but I'm going to come down here into the brown and that may not be the exact color I need but I'm going to try it let's zoom in on the baby a little bit oh, I still have an eraser um, and I'm going to add this shade right over that peachy shade And I usually put at minimum three different colors on skin. It's usually more like four or five different colors to achieve what I want the skin to look like. Um, that may actually still be a little too pale, so I'm going to try. I'm going to duplicate that. Ooh, that's too dark. Turn that down. That's a little better. Um, I don't think I'm too happy with that secondary color I chose. Let me get rid of that duplicate. Um, I go a little bit more to the right and a little bit further down and get that a little bit of a deeper color. And just go over here. Uh, skin again. It looks like I got some gray showing through where I did a bad job on the original uh, or on the first layer. So that's for light skin. Light skin baby. Um, and you can play with the uh, opacity on it. Add some more shading. Um, but Without the um, base coat, to me he just looks really flat if I just have a brown color. And I put that peachiness back in there and I think that looks great. And I could actually turn the peachiness down. Oh, that looks a lot better. So, anyway. Now I'm going to turn that back up and I'm going to go up here to the medium skin female and go back to my original color and I, I keep going back to this original because I like to base my 
second layer on the first layer. And boy, I did a terrible job coloring that. And for her, um, I think I'm going to go pretty far down, almost. I never, I try never to use pure black, but I'm going to go pretty far down into the brown. Oops, and I'm on the wrong layer. So new layer. Soft light. Okay, I went pretty far down into the brown. And I think that's going to be a pretty color for her. And as far as which color to choose, I just kind of play around and takes practice. Um, and it's all up to the artist, whatever it is that's pleasing to you. And I'm going to leave the center part of her face pretty light because I like, I like the way it's shaded. I'll turn that down a little bit. Um, And then we'll go to the Caucasian person. New layer. Go back to my original peachy color. And for him, I just down and way over here to the right. We're just I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna go right over that peachy color. So, where I have four different skin tones, and I use the same base color for all four of them. What made a difference was that second layer of color and the base, the photo itself. Um, turn all these off. I mean, you can see from the background, you know, that each one has their own distinct shading. Uh, you can tell this darker skin from the lighter skin. And then when you add color on top, um, they all join, they blend together to create the result. And then I'd want to go back and add shading and maybe some um, peachy, red, orangey, uh, high. Uh, highlights for the cheeks, things like that. Uh, but this is the base. And anyway, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, let me know.